the uh, Sean, do you you're renting a house right now? Yeah. And Darmash, you do not rent though, right? Not anymore. I did for a long, long time. I'm a big believer in rentals, as it turns out. But I, uh, I'm staying in Brooklyn for the summer, and I rent uh, a furnished house and it or a f- apartment, and it is so much better than owning a place and having to it worry is. about stuff all the time. It is so much I better. I, I think I, I, I'm on the renting train. I think now, like I've kind of been there, but like I actually love it more. Do you like it? Because Sean, you owned a place in San Francisco for like four years, and then now you rent again. Way better. In fact, every time something breaks, I now just have joy to be like, let me call somebody else. It's their problem. It's their exactly. cost to fix. They have to arrange it. They have to do whatever. And I don't have to think about it. Plus, also in California, property taxes are like insane or like in San Francisco because the, the, you know, the house price is so high. So, you know, even if you try to do the calculation, it's so hard to beat just this annual property tax every single time on rent. Wait, so Dumbash, if you if you had the choice again, I mean, I, I think maybe p- perhaps you bought because like your wife wanted to or your kids wanted to. But if it was up to you, it, even with a family, would you be a renter? If it was up to me, yes, um, because. Just the the decrease in maintenance and wear and tear on one's psyche and soul that ownership <laughs> uh, you know, bestows upon you is just not worth it. It's, that's that's my thing. It's just like. Like, I don't want to worry about those things. I want to I want to get as close to like living in the matrix as I possibly can. Right. And renting is a step closer to being in the matrix. We don't have to worry about physical things and atoms and things like that. It's like oh, that's somebody else's problem. I just show up. How, how many people in your socioeconomic like ballpark, like, uh, you know, founders of multi-billion dollar companies or people like you, do you think also rent? Because I think that'd be a, a sh- if it were a fair amount, that'd be fairly shocking to a lot of people. But do you know a bunch of people that are similar to you that are still rent? I know people that are similar to me in terms of that they would prefer renting because I've talked to them about this, but almost everyone I know now, once you get a family and once you have like other things that you're trying to factor in, um, for instance, uh, you know, one of the things my wife loves gardening and loves, loves having a yard and that's kind of hard to do in a rental. Um, not that you can't do it, but it's, um, right. Yeah. Well, one thing that a, a guy told me who, who's similarly was, you know, I think he's probably got like a 10 or 10 or $20 million house. He was like, He's like, renting is amazing until you want the, until your wife wants a specific house. And then once your wife wants a specific house or in a specific neighborhood, that neighborhood, like, like higher end neighborhoods have no rentals. So you just can't get into that neighborhood, which means you can't have whatever. So then you're forced into a different path. And so I thought, you know, it's a, it's a version of uh, good problems to have. So we'll, we'll count it that way. Um, all right. What are we, 